Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I am here with my Sunday morning reset. I like to get up extremely early on Sunday mornings to enjoy the quietness and stillness. And I come down and I have my coffee to kind of um, create a spiritual atmosphere of peace and calmness and also gratitude, just kind of being thankful for the moment. And we have so much to be grateful for. So I come down and I use my brewvee to make a quick cup of coffee. Never used this machine before. It's my first time, but I've read a lot about it. Pretty excited about the coffee that it's going to make for me today. Um, if you get an opportunity, just Google it. It's a very interesting machine. I've pulled down my favorite mug. He has made everything beautiful in his time. And, and it, God sure, certainly has done that for me. So I'm add, I added a shot of pumpkin um, syrup to my coffee because I just love to fall. Um, I'm an October baby and I truly love fall moments, cozy. So I'm heading over to my coffee table where I'm going to begin just spending some time in his word. I'm lighting a candle, I'm creating a space of comfort, uh, a space again of peace and quiet and just really enjoying it. I'm using the New King James Version Chronological Bible and I'm also doing a study on prayer. Um, if you've never heard of the Grace Co. Company, they um, are a Christian company that specializes in making um, several study guides and the one that I'm currently working through is on prayer. You'll see me also sitting here. Um, I've been listening to a sermon this morning by John MacArthur. I usually like to listen to a couple of, of ministers there and I scroll through and just listen, look for the topics um, that would touch my heart. And I also uh, research on my own the scriptures that they provide to gain a better understanding for myself, I also write out those scriptures with little notes um, that the Holy Spirit has pricked my heart with. Any definitions that for words that I'm not familiar with, I will look them up to just grow my spiritual bank and to ensure that I am fluid in the word of the Lord. So again, I would just sit here in quietness reading the word, listening to sermons, and also just hearing from the Lord um, and what he would have to say to me in the stillness of the day. Right now it's still currently dark, but it's probably going to be peaking some daylight uh, through the curtain soon, and that kind of changes the mood and the atmosphere. So I like to get the dark time, the quiet time, the peaceful time in my day. Uh, we have just gone through a new kitchen remodel, so I'm also enjoying my new kitchen.
ready for the day, getting these pearly whites in shape. Um, to get ready to go downstairs. I'm going to take a shower with some new body washes by Tariq Henderson. Um, they were pr very promoted on YouTube very highly and I said, well, why not try it? And they did not disappoint. Um, they were extremely creamy body wash and the lotions and whipped butter smooth. Love it. Now that I'm all fresh for the day, I've come downstairs and I'm going to be doing a little bit of cleaning the kitchen up before I begin cooking and preparing for any more food throughout the day. Um, so here I am, I'm going to wash the dishes and clean up. Let's go.
He's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times making a smoothie as you all know I am on a journey with my hubby to um, healthier living and it is a journey so I'm trying to figure out what works best for my body in this smoothie um, I'm cutting up a cucumber right now but I've already added prunes which is good for digestion and keeping you regular the apples are good um, also with fiber and offer many benefits as well as regarding your heart Cucumbers are full of antitoxins as well, and the, they just offer a lot of great flavor. So this mixture is one that I'm trying out, and I like it as well. Um, Hubby came and got a, a larger container for me because I didn't have enough in, in this cup. So I'm switching over to the larger container so I can properly blend my smoothie and I'm going to cut up my bell pepper um, and add it as well. I've added some lemon and ginger as well to my smoothie and bell peppers are good for weight loss, they're good for your mood and they're also just a, a, a ball of health benefits involved here. So with that being said, here's my ginger. I'm cutting it up with a knife here, kind of dangerous, but I'm going to get a, a scraper so I can probably sc scrape the skin off of it without risking my fingertip here. Um, I also like to add uh, Celsius, an all-natural energy drink that has no calories, no artificial fl flavors, and no calories. So I add that to my smoothies. I like it because it gives me the flavor. It gives me a little pop to the drink. Makes it um, kind of fun to drink. So have you guys tried any smoothies? If so, share with me your recipe. One mistake I did make was I left a pit in one of my prunes. So I had to pick the pieces of the prune pit out of my smoothie. But I drank the entire thing. Doesn't matter if the snow is 
are gonna head out for a little while we have an event that we're going to attend and I might just show you a little bit of our trip but thank you for watching again I hope you subscribe to this channel take care Christmas lights we have some Christmas lights finally So we are back from a church service that we attended tonight. It was a 100-year church anniversary celebration. And I have decided to prep my vegetables to go with our tomorrow night's dinner, whatever that will be. But as you guys know, we are on a healthy journey um, to eating healthier and better. And one thing that's important to, to eat healthier is being ready and uh, having determination. So even though it's late, I'm gonna cut these vegetables up and let it do what it do. soon but this is my Sunday reset day me and my husband had an event to go to we normally don't but today we did and so we're getting back in pretty late and so um, we are just going to have our tea I'm taking him and myself we're gonna have a cup of tea and take our vitamin C and make sure our immune system is over um, is up and elevated but give me a like give me a subscribe and put your bell on for when I upload any videos. 
you'll have it. And I just wanted to let you know that Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you and for me. Despite of our sin, despite of our faults, the Most High God loves us. So give him a praise. Give him a, give him a yes. And I thank you very much for watching.